Hi, I want to show you how to install Card Presso quickly. It's very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the Card Presso USB into my computer in three, two, and it is in. It should show up and it should have a uh, an option to just view files in the folder. I'm going to double click just on the application Card Presso and here we go. Uh, it's really quite simple. This would help you install Card Presso. Please select this install language English next and um, next, next, and finish. Accept the terms of agreement. Okay. Okay, and Card Presso should be installed in your computer right now. You can go ahead and design a card. I just want to quickly uh, show you that um, if you go to the Card Presso website, uh, you'll be able to download the latest, newest version of the software since the version you might be installing uh, from your USB came with your printer that maybe left the factory a few months ago um, and will have an older version. So what you do is just go to cardpresso.com, navigate to downloads, you go down to card presser releases, okay, and over there you'll see for Windows, for Mac, uh, depending on which operating system you're using. Uh, at this time I'm using a Windows and you'll be able to download the versions there you just download and like I just showed you you would just double click and install the new version in fact it would update the version I have now uh, in fact I've already done that so I've already updated to this latest version uh, 1347 1347 there we go you should have the XXS or XX edition it depends on what edition you have I have the XXL edition the license for card presso lives on your USB stick so you have to have your USB connected when using card presso uh, let's get started let's just create a quick blank card I'm gonna click here on create a card CR80 it's just the normal credit card sized uh, card and here we go we have a blank canvas let me just first of all, for, uh, the first thing I like to do is just go to print settings and just make sure I've got the Evolus Primacy selected, the one that's connected, and OK. So now the printer is connected, we're fine. Let's just quickly add a picture to the mix. And you know, let's just get a you know, let's just get a sample picture in here. Um, okay. And there we go. We have a picture in there. Um, you can add text to the to the card. Let's just—I mean, I just want to quickly do something. I'm adding text. I'm clicking on source. I want to go to uh, font auto adjust always, so that the text is always the same, uh, always the same size within this field, no matter what the text is. So I'm going to go name, and I'm just going to make this slightly smaller. And. And there we go, it readjusts. I'm just going to copy and paste that quickly. And over here, I'm just going to put surname. And, and well, you know, you can do all kinds of things. You can throw in a barcode. It really is up to you what your design looks like, what you want to put on your card. Um, you can put a QR code in here. Whatever you need to do, there it all is. Um, and let's pretend this is the card and we're ready to go. We can click on print. As you can see, the printer is the Avotis Primacy, a number of different cards, one print on the front, and when I click OK, it will print. And there's and that's there is that's all there is to it. That is installing Card Presso on your computer. If you want to save this template, you can just go save as and you can save the template and then open it up later. That's it, and we're done.